Okay, so we're gonna see another headlock defense this class, this time on the ground from uh, what we would call the position. Uh, it's like a, a, a reference to a larger array of positions, but side control, okay? I see uh, this happen all the time. I tell people in like the kids' classes, whether that's jujitsu or we do like an MMA with grappling also. But, you know, even after kids have been training a couple of years, they still will grab someone's head and just hold on to it. Maybe when they're tired or it's still some people, <laughs> their first line of offense. <laughs> Right, because if you don't know how to escape and you can't be uh, comfortable there, right? So find some uh, comfort and positional uh, stability to kind of, all right, man, because it can be so uncomfortable. So just learning to relax in that position is, is pivotal, okay? Um, so that's gonna be the first tenet. Then we need to get our body positioning all locked down. We need to make it so they can't punch us in the face. And that's, those things come with like, okay, once you've done those things, pressure's off a little bit. You just have to know you've done them, be confident, and then you start working out, okay? So we'll go body positioning first. So this is side control around my head, okay? So I don't like this at all. Right now he has his grip around my neck, okay? So turn a little bit here. Right, so I have my head stuck out to kind of talk to everybody, so it's even making it worse. It makes my my voice more audible, but I don't um, I don't want to have my head out here. That's not the proper body position. I'll go over head positioning, um, kind of last. You see, the first thing I'm doing is turning on my side, right? So turn this way more. Okay, so here I'm on my back. This is terrible. Pull my head up. That's even more terrible. Like that's killer pressure on my spine, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I turn on my side. I turn within his headlock here, okay? That's part one on body position. Be on your side. When you do this, he feels my shoulder in his back, okay? So I'm on my side. I got my shoulder in his back. And the next thing I need to do is start controlling this arm, okay? This stops him like let's say he wants to rear back and start punching me in the face repeatedly here all right if if i've got that from the get-go here try and rear back and punch me in the face no you're not gonna get it and now you gave up your headlock and i'm not like seeing why that might work is if i wasn't doing that and then you started hitting i started covering up and then i started trying to eventually go back to the headlock right and i went oh Right, so it's, you know, you could, those punches can be overwhelming. So we need to make sure you can't do that. Wrist, and then I grip around here on your arm, okay? And then I hide my head right in here, okay? And again, you can't really hear so well what I'm saying, that's why I'm talking about that. Right, so I tuck that in. Let's say I was here, turn and look at me, headbutt me, boom, right? You can, you can headbutt strikes, whatever. Here. And it's not just tuck your head. I'm taking my shoulder up towards the camera, right? And I'm retracting my, my neck. Think about like a turtle going in its shell, okay? Here, right? So now he's, his lock is more around my head when I do all of that instead of my neck, okay? So that's the proper body positioning. So once we get here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come out with our elbow and build a frame, okay? This frame is gonna push. And look there, it broke his grip. Don't let me break your grip. Here, I push, nothing happened. I start walking back from the frame, keeping that out, threading the needle, coming up, okay? All right. Hold. So guys, when you come up and somebody holds onto your headlock, don't resist, relax into it. It's only bad if he holds, hold, and you start coming up, hold, sink into it, okay? And we'll go over in a second, release. We'll go over in a second what to do when they don't let go, okay? So part of these first two headlock escapes is also learning about how to break their grip, all right? so. Give me back inside control headlock. Okay, so look, get on your side. If you're on your back, start on your back. 
pendulum in on your side. Get, get in the shell like the turtle. Grab the wrist and the arm so he doesn't hit you, right? Now, start walking out, right? You start getting that body positioning. We're doing that in combination with this frame and cross face, okay? So hip out, hip out, threading the needle. Here. Okay? You try. We'll go ahead facing the camera. Start on your back. Here. Right? So see, everything's exposed. Right? Boom! Imagine getting a headbutt to the bridge of the nose right here. Okay? So pendulum in. Get on your side. Good. Grab my wrist and my arm. Good. Now, I, if I let go, I got nothing. Okay? Now, get in the shell, turtle boy. Yes. See, now, I, I feel like I'm losing. Your head is literally sliding out of my grip. Start hipping back, walking back. Again, thread the needle. Come up. Right? So you can do that with the punch defense. And just hold on to me. Go back. Now, so see there, because you got you got good connection. But here's the thing. We want to add, you know, with this stuff, again, you add stress, you become comfortable because you're used to being in bad spots. Okay? So now, wheel out with your arm. Yeah, that's you can do that first, right? But come out with your elbow. So you've got, uh, uh, yeah, like an outrigger. Now come across the face, okay? Now frame and push that, yes. Now lock it in, push it away, boom, yes. And think think about almost like we talked about with the, um, remember the standing guillotine entry for side headlock when Kevin was here for class? Mm -hmm. Think about pushing my head to the back corner. See that? Now I'm lighter on you. Good. Nice. Good. Go back down. Okay. On your back. Start getting body positioning. Turn on your side. Yes. Good. C defend there so I don't strike. Right? Go more around my um, arm. Yes. And grab my wrist underneath. Yes. Okay. Now, wheel out with your frame. Elbow out. Yes. Good. Coming across my face here. Lock the frame back corner. Walk away. Push this. Extend this a little bit. Good, now coming up, nice, okay. Now, let's add what to do if they hold on when we come up, okay? And today, a lot of times, and we'll see this in a future class, this is a very common scenario, but we'll see this in a future class, they hold on to the headlock, and what we're gonna do is break the headlock. In a future class, we'll see going to an arm bar after that, but today, we're omitting it. Okay, we just want to break headlocks. We want to get comfortable in headlocks. And once we realize that, oh man, I kind of know how to get out of headlocks. Then you start arm bars and things like that. That's why this future class for that. Okay, so um, put me in side headlock and we'll go this side. Okay, so when I'm, I'm getting all my body positioning, everything I need to do, pressed in. Coming out with my frame, pushing this to the back corner, hip escaping, threading the knee, turning. Again, I never want to push up, pull down. I'm just letting him do that. But I can't just hang out. Keep pulling, thread the needle. Yes, now I'm falling over you. Oh, look where we're at, go back. Okay. Get inside control, facing away. Grab my hand. So it's pulling. I have my frame to begin with, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide over, hold, and turn this way a little bit. It's not up, it's down and in, here. And he let go. And he let go and I've got his back maybe, I've got an arm bar maybe, okay? Hold again, turn this way. I frame, and not this way, not this way. It's, I, I sink down into him, and then I start going over his head. So think about leaning forward into his neck, like 45 degrees up over his head. And then look, I've got a lot of great options there. So I want you to do the frame escape. And then I'm gonna hold on to your head, and then you're gonna escape. 
with that headlock, okay? So you step over the technical map. I'll walk you through, okay? Right down. Okay, good body position. Good, frame. Good, cross face. Start pushing, walking away. Uh-huh, good, sit up. Let's go back this. Step over the technical mount. Okay, now, try and just push my face away and lean up. You can't. I will hold you here most of the day until I get tired. Okay, you might be tired immediately if you lean at that 45 degree angle over my head. Push my face away and do that. Yes. And here's the thing. I know it's coming, so I kind of let go because it hurts if you don't let go, right? Like what it is, is the grip break. Mm -hmm. You force the grip break, okay? One more time, head facing that way. Get on your side, defend the punches, good. Wheel out with your elbow, build the frame, cross face, hip escape, needle thread. Sitting up, good. Technical mount. Good, and lean forward and down. Ah, it's not up at all, it's the opposite. You think, oh, I'll go up to break their grip. I'll go away, it'll make their grip, no. This one's weird. It's more like when you do that, it forces my shoulder out at this weak angle. Oh, to, yeah. Similar to a Kimura, very similar to a Kimura. So go into the pressure. They're pulling you down, go down, right? Go forward and into their neck, and it's kind of 45 degrees up over their head. If you go sideways, it's not always gonna break, okay? Um, now, so that breaks their grip. And, and like when we were doing the frame earlier, I remember if it's forward filming or not, we are talking about some of this. And the frame can definitely break your grip. Like when I start framing and hipping away and doing that cross face and doing a good poof, your grip might break, right? That's great. They might break their own grip trying to hit and they can't hit. Oh, I did good, just the body position gave me what I wanted, right? Um, now, um, what I want to think about is how can we break the grip from bottom using our leg, okay? So get me in the tight control headlock here. Okay, so kind of all the same stuff, right? All the preliminary. I come out, I build my cross face, I start walking back, and then I'm going to get this leg involved. And I push you away, and then I'm going to lock my feet together and extend. And that's the leg scissor choke. I don't, I, I don't want to extend so much that first thing, don't get your legs stuck under their back. It won't work. The next thing is my legs aren't bent, they're straight. And I don't want to squeeze so much that my legs are quivering. Okay, I'm just right there. Barely anything. Extend the legs. If you can't get the leg scissor choke, it's not working. I switch his arm underneath my armpit come up into cross body side control. That's with an elbow on the far side and blocking the hip on the near side. I come up here. So we've seen this side control head arm. We've seen cross body, or cross side rather, and then cross body here at the hip. We've also seen some of the pesa positions and then headlock, what we're working on today. Okay, so. Get your body positioning, get on your side. Good, build your frame with the cross space. Lock it in, good. And I'm holding on hip tight, I'm Joel, right? Hip back a little bit, hip back, walk back a little bit. Now throw your leg up. Oh. Yes, good, you broke it, lay down. Now, leg scissor. So throw, yes, this over, uh-huh. Now, legs are, feet are crossed, legs are extending straight. Okay, and squeeze. Not bad. Let's do that again. Here, turn on your side. Body positioning, strike defense, good. Tuck your chin, everything's hidden. Good, and that gets better. Now I don't have as much of your neck. Okay, now build your frame, cross face. Good, hip back, throw the leg in. Good. We didn't break the grip though, restart. Let me show you one more time. Okay, of the frame here, right? 
I'm down here. I just tip back just a little bit, and then I go here. Hold on with your grip. Hold on with your grip. Boom. There. If I can't get the leg scissor, I swap that arm. You see that? So now when I start coming up, yeah, made you squeak. Exactly. Okay. Head right here. Get out just a little bit. Get on your side. Good. Build your frame. All right. Push my head away. Just a little bit. Push it to the back corner. Yeah, it's like, hold on, freeze. Now, do that. Now, walk out just a little bit and throw your leg in. There you go. Leg scissor. Extend the legs. It's not working, so come up to cross side. With the, with the hip walk, cross body. Okay. This one, hold on. Okay. That, uh, your right arm comes over my arm. And watch the hip as you come up. Replace your leg with this arm as you come up. Side control with the cross body hold. So here, that stops me from recovering. Here, this stops me from going away. This stops me from turning in. This, pull that in when I, that stops me from turning away. Okay? So, if we ever can't get the leg scissors, or we just use it to break the grip, that's how we transition to the cross side. Okay? So, uh, I'll show that one more time, um, and then we'll, uh, we'll be done on the side control headlock escapes for today. All right, lay down right here. Okay, get on your side. Good. Tuck your chin. Yes. Build your frame. Uh huh. Throw your legs in. Wow, that was really good. Good. Now I want you to also just transition uh, to the cross side. Put that under your arm. Watch the hip as you come up. Replace the leg with the arm as you come up. And cross body. If I turn away, block here, keep your forearm on my thigh, right? And keep your elbow pulling my head. Good job. And that's how you control the cross body side control position, okay? So that's that, all right? Okay guys, uh, we're gonna be going over our side control headlock escape. This is somebody has grabbed our head, thrown us to the ground or, or initiated from the ground. This is a common thing I see untrained people do. It is like, um, we, don't, <laughs> we don't teach any throws or anything to the kids that go around the head like that. But we'll have kids trained in a couple years even, and that's like their default thing when they're, when they're rolling and sparring as they grab people's head, you know? So um, I think it's just something that's inherent in us that like, oh, I grab your head and, you know, hit it against things and punch it and strike it and maybe it'll work, right? Well. It, we want to be for now, you break your hand striking someone in the head if you're not careful. We, we always try to address these uh, misperceptions and then also things that, that people are going to do, right? Um, so this is a, a very um, beginner concept, but we're adding on. We did headlock escape one and two, so go back and watch that. This is three and four, okay? So review a little bit of just the striking defense and positional uh, uh, details, and then we'll, we'll um, add the techniques. And today, if they hold on to the headlock after we get on top, we're gonna to add the arm bar in, okay? So uh, go ahead and put me in this side headlock, okay? So here's the thing we talked about, guys. I'm gonna keep my head out to talk initially, but I don't, I want to tuck my head and hide it, all right? And it's gonna tell you, right now he's got like his arm up against my spine, okay? So I wanna turn on my side here, okay? and. This is not a position where my arm is uh, trapped under his arm. This is a position where he is grabbing my head. Turn this way a little bit. He's grabbing my head like this, okay? So, um, and in doing so, right, I need to turn on my side and grab his arm because he can't do things like we talked about and let go here and start punching me in the face. Boom, boom. So, right, if he's rear back to punch, I can go, go ahead and persist right there and, and clamp. A lot of people think this, this if he just punches straight down, punch straight down to your foot. 
he can get out. Punch straight down. Nothing happened. Okay? So if you have me in the headlock and you're going to uh, rear back and hit, also, I just tuck. And then you're going to be hitting bone on bone. Top eight won't feel awesome, but it's not gonna knock me out. And it might break your hand. Okay? So there, if I'm tucked here, collect the arm and trap it. Okay? So that's just kind of some striking defense. If he just has the headlock, get the headlock. We talked about last class here and here. Okay? Now, this is uh, protection. And the last thing is tuck your head. Okay, so I'm on my side. I'm connecting my shoulder to his back. I'm connecting my head inside to his chest. And I'm also coming forward with my shoulder a little bit. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to step over here. And then I'm going to bridge forward on my head. Hold on to my head. If he holds on and doesn't let go, it will shoulder lock him in a sense. So this breaks your grip. If you are persistent and it breaks your grip late, but still breaks it, that's when the shoulder lock can come in. Okay, so as I press away with this leg, I'm gonna bridge forward, okay? The lock has been broken. Now I'm switching my hip here. I've already got a hook set, right? I wanna keep my chest on his back, right? And this, I would be looking for him to maybe try and come up to a turtle if he's able to do that. Right? See if you can draw that leg up underneath you. You might not be able to, because. but if you try, like that's when I can start be uh, setting that other hook. If we think back to class four, you took the back from mount and we flattened them when they tried to base up. Same thing here, go back and review that class, okay? So, this one, <clears throat> we wanna get all the positional details and it's, your leg is not up and I'm still able to use it, this is for primarily when the leg is up, right? So put your knee up. If your knee's completely down, we do something else, right? If it's up, I'm going here, okay? Even if you kind of faced it downward like that, again, I can still get it in there, okay? Put it up, right? A another thing we're thinking here, okay? If it's, if it's down and I start coming here, a lot of times I'll get you to put it up instead of doing that. Okay, come back. So I run. So I start, start with it down. I start running, you put it up in defense. Boom. Right there. And it just breaks that headlock entirely. Okay, so head here. <clears throat> Body positioning, get on your side. Tuck your head, yes, good, very good. Grabbing that wrist and that arm at the same time. It was a pointless and futile for me to let go. And look, I was just here, just naturally. Throw that leg over. So remember, it's kind of a, be a little more active with that foot, yeah. There you go, you're kind of almost lacing as you come up. But I want you to push away with that as you bridge forward on your head. Ah, yes. Now start switching your hips, yes. Yes, that's what I was talking about. See, I was moving as you were going. Because I'm like, you hadn't seen this whole drill maybe, right? So no. I was moving as you were going. So like that flattening of the turtle class four stuff, it worked. That was perfect, right? So um, let's see that again. Very good, Microsoft. Here, turn on your side. Hide your head. Good. Here, so this is less into everything. Tuck your chin in a little bit more. I want to feel your shoulder against my back. It should be uncomfortable. Good, throw your hook in. Good, connect with it. Start bridging. Connect with your hook. Yes. When you did both of those, my grip broke. Yes. I'm going to tell you exactly what I was thinking. I'm like, I'm going to stand up when he tries this. Just stand up. And when I did, you're like, so I thought you might try to stand up and I did this and that, remember the stress test on the back control? Okay, if you've got turtle with hooks, can they stand up? Can they kick a leg straight back? Those are the main two. If they can't do those, you've got a good positional control, okay? So good work on number three. Um, number four, 
sometimes we come up and we bridge. Sometimes we can't do anything other than that. And then also in this one, we see that real application of the needle thread that we were talking about last class, okay? So sometimes on a needle thread, I mentioned to you that we bring our knees up. And if you think back to some of the bridging we've learned in this class, like, okay, bridges, those are good. You know, we use them on that for escape. The very first technique we really learned in class, the, the bridge and roll escape, okay? Well, when we talk about different methods of bridging, bridging and coming to our knees, right? So here, and we kind of step over, we scissor our legs over that, like a reverse needle thread, okay? So both of those are right. And like I said, like if the leg's not up and you start kind of bridging, sometimes they'll bring it up, right? My goal is if I take your back, like, wow, that's great, you know? Um, but then like, okay, well, I wasn't able to take your back, you still hold on the head, but I'm to my knees. Also great, but there's some really key things we need to focus on. Get on this side, put me in the headlock here. Okay, so I wanna get my uh, positional details, just the headlock, not the arm. And it, let's still grab my arm. If he does this, this is um, what we call uh, Kesa Gatami. That's the, the judo term, right? Scarf hold is the translation. Um, a lot of, uh, uh, in wrestling styles, they'll call it head arm position, right? We, we use a different term, head arm for side mount, right? So, you know, whatever, it's Kesa. We just call it Kesa. So if he's got my arm here, I wanna turn on my side and get my arm. Now he's relinquished to only be able to do this, okay? So tuck in here, I'm on my side. I'm looking to see if this is available. If it's not, right, kind of, yeah. Yeah, even bring it, like put it on top of the other leg, right? And then just kind of squeeze my head. This is very uncomfortable, but I'm finding comfort here. I'm staying tucked in, he's squeezing my jaw, but I've got my hand on his wrist, okay? And I've got my elbows in. I'm throwing both of his arms and I'm connecting that shoulder here, okay? So from here, talked about this last class, we can hit the skate back and turn to our knees, okay? Don't let me push pull you over right now. So keep your head low. I can't. So I come up to my knees, base, and I push you over here. Okay. Hold on to my head. Frame. Okay? And look, you can frame after you step over. Keep your head if you can. Because I'm so relaxed and down, it broke his grip as I stepped over. Post, he's really holding on. Really, really pull into it. You got to embrace that. He's pulling you down. Go forward. This is wedging and blocking. Here. Okay? Now look. We can finish with the arm bar. <clears throat> okay. Let's see this um, again. Okay. So, flip me, same starting spot. Here. Here. So, this is protection. Right? Now, I'm like, okay, that's not there. I start scooting back, I turn here, and I can't, I can't break the grip. Come up to my knees, face, pull him over. Step over, and there's my arm up. Go to the thumb, okay? <clears throat> All right. Um, now, the other application on this is like, you couldn't even really hip out. Every time you move, they took the space back. That's where you bridge and come up to your knees. So really grab my head one more time. And I, I'll, I'll have you kind of look at both also. Okay. So really a lot of, a lot of pressure here. Squeeze. Yeah. All right. I feel like okay. now follow me. Squeeze and follow me. Yeah, I can't get away from you to turn belly down. I can't find this. Okay, so that's when I'll bridge. Boom, I came to my knees. Boom. Boom. Okay. All right. Hands here. Here. 
So turn on your side, elbow in, good. Tuck your head, All right? Go for my leg. Uh -huh. I am not just giving it to you, All right? Try and see if you can, remember the frame thing where we cross face? Uh-uh, I'm not gonna give you that, All right? See, I, I tuck my head down, so now try and frame. Yeah, you don't have the space. And I'm, now I'm hitting you in the nose, right? You gave me some space. So go back, defend the strikes. Start from that position. Okay. Now, walk away, turn belly down, completely belly down. A little more. And now, yes. Now, bring your knees up. Post your right hand on the floor. Nice, nice. Now, feel that, pull, that uh, arm on my bicep. Use it to pull me over. Other way. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Okay. Go, block the hip, go to mount. Uh-huh, pull a uh, frame. Lean forward. Yes, I have no strength. Okay, go ahead and step over, leg over before you fall back. This is what we want. We'll get it next time. Okay. Here. Right, so go ahead and get positioning. Turn on your side. Uh huh, good. Now walk your hips away, turn belly down. All right, and bring your knees up. Push your right hand on the mat. Pull me over. Yes, steering me with your head. Very good. Step over to mount. Frame. Lean forward. Good. Step over the head. Yep. Better. Good. Right on that thumb. Nice. Okay. Again. Head here. This time I want you to um, I want you to bridge to come up. Okay. So we're here and you start start walking away from me. Right? I'm not giving I'm just in a ball. I'm not giving you that space. Every time you walk away, I kind of follow you. Right? And I'm here so you don't have the leg hook. So what I want you to do is from the get your striking defense in place. Right? Get your, your arms. Right? So here. Good. Nice. So you know, I'm following you and all this. My head's low. You don't have that. So bridge forward. Right? So like, oh, yes, good, good, good. Okay, come up all, then come up to your knees. Hips uh, high in the air, yes. Right hand on the mat. That See how much that alleviated your life? Mm -hmm. Right? I would like your left hand to be a little lower on my arm. There you go, just a little bit, right? And if that's hard to get around, um, you, you take what you can get, okay? So here, pull me and steer me. Boom, good. Step over the mat, right? Lean forward. Good. One more on the, on the bridge and come up to your knees. Okay? So watch this one again. I'm, I'm here and I go. Look how my hips come up. And then, and then, okay? Good, all right, uh-huh, good, body position. I'm not giving you anything, bridge. See when I did that, I'm like, I'm not giving you anything. Bridge forward when I did that. Bridge, boom. boom. Yeah, right hand on the mat. As Soon as you get up to your knees, good. Pull me over. Yes, good. Lean forward, nice. Nice, good, way to take the slack out of that arm bar. Okay, going to the thumb. That's how he's taking the slack out. Okay, so with the other arm bars, um, as we go through the, the program, right? Um, that's just a really great beginner self defense arm bar, right? Uh, you, you broke a headlock and then your arm bar, one of the arms they're holding you with, it's gangster. All right, good work. Um, it's class 12, so that's uh, we'll be moving on. Let's see, wow, yeah, we'll be starting back on new mount stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So our very first three classes were on mount, mm -hmm. and now uh, when we start class 13, we'll be back looking at mount. And guys, this is like about three, we just completed a big one third chunk of this program. There's three chunks like this, and um, we'll learn different mount escapes each chunk, right? Like each time we go through a big block, 
um, you know, there's about three main mount escapes we teach. The Upa slash bridge and roll, we call it both. The knee elbow escape and the hip escape. Those are the big three. There's, a lot, there's lots of other little ways that you might could get out of mount, but those are the ones everyone needs to know. And even black belts, myself, been trained 17 years, those are the three most valuable to me. And it's just about doing them no matter what the person does. That's the black belt version of it is like, oh, you know, do these eight things to me, I'm still doing the same escape no matter what. And that's, you know, real simple. It's just one technique. Doesn't matter what you do, I could still get it. If I figure, you know, in like, okay, well, he's gonna grab me here, still do that. Just gotta work on the details. Okay, good work.